Hello everyone, this is Nathan with uh, CMA Coach again, and thanks for uh, tuning in and checking out this video. Uh, in this video, I will be covering the uh, manufacturing input variances, more specifically the price variance and the quantity variance, okay? And for this example, I've chosen this multiple choice question, which is a retired uh, multiple choice question from the CMA exam. So you may be seeing something very similar on your exam and uh, and that's why I picked it. All right, so let's get started. Uh, Min Oil performs oil changes and other minor maintenance services uh, for cars. The company advertises that all services are completed within 15 minutes of each service. On a recent Saturday, 160 cars were serviced resulting in the following labor variances. Okay, so the rate is $19 unfavorable, efficiency $14 favorable. If mint oil's standard labor rate is $7 per hour, determine the actual wage rate per hour and the actual hours worked. So in this example, we're looking at a price and quantity variance. All right, and being applied to a service business. So this is quite interesting. So to answer this question, uh, we, we have to work out the price variance, also known as the rate variance, and the quantity variance, also known as the efficiency variance. The price variance formula to, uh, that we can use for this problem, and that I would highly recommend that you memorize for the exam, is as follows. So what we have to do is open the parentheses and we start with actual price, all right, minus standard price, and then we close the parentheses, times actual quantity. And this equals to the price variance, all right? So that's one of the formulas we'll be using today, well, in this video. Uh, next is the quantity variance formula. And this one, we open the parentheses again, and we start with actual quantity minus standard quantity times standard price. And this equals to the quantity variance. All right, since these are item costs, or cost items, I should say, a negative variance is a favorable variance, okay? And the reasoning behind that is that actual cost is lower than standard. Okay? And a positive variance is an unfavorable variance because the actual is higher than the standard. All right? So, going to the problem, the standard quantity is the standard uh, is the standard for the number of hours to service 160 cars, all right? And the standard is a quarter of an hour per car multiplied by 160 cars, which is 40 hours. All right, so... Now we need to plug in the, all the information that we know into the formulas in order to calculate and come up with, uh, with the answers. So first, we're going to go with the standard price, and that's given. It's $7 per hour, okay, and that's the labor rate. The price variance is $19, unfavorable. The quantity variance is $14, favorable. So whenever we have all of the values, except for one, and that's probably the, that's the one we need, we can set up a simple calculation and solve for the missing variable, okay? So we have all of the values for the quantity variance formula, except for actual quantity. All right, so then we're going to go with that first. So that will be the first equation that we're going to solve for. So based on the formula that we have up here, we're gonna just go ahead and plug in everything that we know. So the actual quantity, we don't know that, that's what we're gonna solve for, okay? 
that's the total hours worked. So we open parentheses, actual quantity, because we don't know, we just represent it by AQ, minus standard quantity, okay, which is 40, when we close parentheses, times 7. All right, that's the standard price, that's the labor rate, equal to $14 favorable variance. Okay, and now all we have to do is just solve for AQ and we will be set. So AQ times 7 is 7AQ minus 40 times 7 is 280 equals to 14, negative 14 I should say. All right, so then we move over the 280 to the other side of the equation and we do the math, all right, and that comes down out to 266. Okay, so now we have 7AQ equal to 266. And now to solve for AQ, all we got to do is move the 7 to the other side of the, of the equal sign and divide it. So the answer is 38. And this is the actual hours worked. Okay, so we've solved for that variance. So now that we have the actual quantity, the actual hours worked, now we can take that value and use it in the price variance formula to solve for actual price. How much do we actually pay this, these workers to work for those, 40, um, for those uh, 38 hours? Okay, so looking at the formula, we look, we're trying to solve for actual price, okay? So we open parentheses, we, we write AP for actual price, because we don't know what it is yet, minus standard price, and that's the standard labor rate, and we know that, times actual quantity, which we just solved for, so that's 38, equal to 19, which is an, an unfavorable variance, and that was a given also in the question. So now all we have to do is the same thing. Just solve for AP, actual price. So AP times 38 is 38 AP. And then we have 7 times 38 is 266, equal to 19. So then we move over 266 to the other side of the equal sign, and that becomes a positive, and we do the, the math. So that equals to 285. So now we see the formula as 38 AP equal to 285. And now to solve for AP, actual price, we move the 38 to the other side and divide it. So the answer is 7.5. And this is the actual labor rate that was paid to, um, to these workers. So if we look at the uh, multiple choice um, uh, suggestions, answers, let's see. So the wage rate we came up with was 750 per hour. And the hours worked were 38. So I would say based on our calculations that the answer, that the correct answer is A. And that's exactly what it is. So you see, all you have to do is take the numbers, plug them into the formulas, and just do the math, plain and simple. The key is to memorize these formulas for the exam. If you do not memorize them, you may have a hard time solving this problem if they give you one, okay? And the likelihood that they will is high, all right? So definitely be ready for, um, to calculate all these type of problems. I hope that this video helped you. I will be making more, of course. And if, there, if there's any topic that you would like me to make a video for, that you're um, studying and preparing for the exam, drop a comment at the bottom of this page and I will add it to the list and make sure that I get to it as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and um, until next time, bye.